Hello everyone, Tammy does one here. Welcome back to Sonic Frontiers. In the last episode, we uh, did more of the tail stuff. We got more of the Chaos Emeralds. Um, and then after after we did a good chunk of the stuff, we finally finished up uh, the expand. We finally finished the map for uh, Chaos Island. Now we can make traversal through this area a lot more easy. So yeah, so thank God for that. <laughs> so yeah, now today we're gonna fit. And now we're gonna finish up the uh damn I can't talk today. Today we're gonna finish up the, the rest of Tails' uh Tails' missions here, and then we're gonna do the side shit, and then we're gonna then we're gonna fight uh the the Titan. So yeah, today's gonna be a fun episode, I'll say. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh get started, shall we? Let's go ahead and teleport to this one. Okay, so Tails is just past this way. Also, uh, off screen, I uh, did some more fishing with Big, and I uh, got the rest of the. Uh, I also got res the rest of the egg memo. So once we get to the last island, I'll uh, I'll find one of those fishing spots, and we'll uh, we'll listen to them. I was like, come on, there's the guys that are like way behind me. Alright, Tails, uh, what do you gotta say, buddy? Hey, little bro, feeling better? Yeah, this whole experience gave me a kind of clarity. When this is all over, I think I need to go it alone for a while. I can't grow into my full potential if I always fall back on you. If that's okay. You're free to go your own way. I guess you just blew up on me a little faster than I expected. Are you saying I outpaced you? Yeah, don't push it. It takes some getting used to, but here's to you reaching new heights, partner. Oh, I, I, again, the character growth in this game is just gr so great. <laughs> and it's that little moment with Sage too. It's also just—it's uh, very heartwarming to, to see that shit. It's just, uh, I, I, I love this game. I fucking love this game, man. Like, yeah, again, it, it's like fucking points where I was just like, man, I don't fucking like this part. There's so much good in it. I just can't help but it just brings a smile to my face. I fucking love this game. <laughs> uh Okay, so now we gotta get the the last chaos emerald, which is uh right up here. So um, 
Okay, so I will cut to when we get to the uh, to where we well at least where we get to go to get to the chaos world. So yeah, I'll be right back. Ah, man, this game just fucking brings a smile to my face. All right, I'm back and I found it. This is supposed to go up here. Woo! My God, no, they got like I said, it's just man, I just love the fucking games, character mo moments and shit. It, uh, again, even though it didn't make game of the year, uh, game of the year or anything, yeah, I'd still say this is probably my pick. It, it, at least on uh, my own honest opinion. It's like another game again. Hey, it's like I haven't felt this fucking sad in a Sonic game since fucking Unleashed. Like that, it's like that is such a massive improvement over the shit they've given us for the last few years. It's so nice to see that like, Sonic's actually getting back into what how how how. how Getting back to stores like this, where like. Some may call it cheesy, but I don't give a shit. It's my kind of cheese. Top of the uh, the vault. Actually, I, uh, hang on. Actually, before we get to the get that castle, although I want to get this one tail section, that way I don't have to climb up here later. So yeah, all right, tails. Uh, give us the basic rundown, buddy. Oh, shit. Whoops. <laughs> hmm. The whole reason we came here was because we detected the chaos emeralds were drawn here. Did you figure something out? I'm trying to put the pieces together. The Ancients' technology was built specifically for the Chaos Emeralds and runs on their power. All of the Starfall Island systems, even cyberspace, were in a kind of standby mode without the Emeralds to power them. Once the power supply was restored, though, someone would have had to boot up the systems and get them running. I think I can guess who. Oh, Eggman, you fucking moron. <laughs> 300 IQ, my ass. <laughs> okay. Okay, so let's uh, just try to shatter all this shit. Okay. Okay, so we'll give me. Alright. Last cast emerald. Alright, now I gotta go find Tails again. So Tails is right here. So, uh, okay, so before I, uh, if I do the whole thing with Tails here, I'm gonna get all the other side shit first. Mainly because, again, like I said, I'd just rather, um, do all this shit first and then I'll, uh, talk to Tails, then I'll finish up with, uh, Tails afterwards. Okay, so the Sage one is right here. So Sage, give me the basic rundown. again. Since we've grown so close, how about helping me out? I have run the simulations. Sharing data will not change the outcome. You're always talking about odds and simulations, but we living beings don't live by calculations. The will to live, the drive to achieve, the desire to protect the ones you love, that kind of thing can grant a power you can't imagine. Love can be converted into power... Do you have any data to back this proposed conversion? Uh, nope. That's what makes it miraculous. But, if you really need proof, I'll whip you up a miracle by the end of all this. You'll see. Hmm. Okay, so, there's a Tails one right 
here. Anything? Okay, now I can't really fast shuttle there. So, but uh, I think uh, okay, I'll uh, cut to when I get to that tail, the tails icon. So I'll uh, I'll be right back. All right, and I'm back. All right, tails, what's up, buddy? This is not an ideal working condition. If I just had my body, I could be so much more efficient. Amy said she felt like she was in a dream. Does that sound about right? That's pretty accurate. I can think clearly, and I'm aware, but there's no physicality to it. Everything feels just out of reach. Do you think that's why the ancients made the cocoa? To have something real to put their spirits into? It's one hypothesis. We certainly can't rule it out. Hmm. Ancient lore. <clears throat> Let's see, uh, side story. How many, how many there are there in this, uh, how many do we have left anyway? Okay, so we have one, one, two, three, four. Okay, so we have four more. There's a Tails one right here, so let's, uh, let's see, let's, uh, fast travel to this one, and I'll, right, I'll be right back when I get to it. Alright, and I'm back. I wouldn't give to study this ancient technology properly. Hmm. It doesn't look like this was a projectile weapon. Uh, so no ancient cannonballs then, huh? Wait, are you saying this is a beam weapon? Like on the egg carrier? Exactly. From what I can tell, it has its own battery, independent of an outside power source. Moreover, its capacity is ludicrous. It could level a mountain. It's almost up there with the Eclipse Cannon. But that was plugged into the Ark's reactor. This is freestanding. Oh, the Ancients' designs are amazing. Yeah, that's cool and all, but... I mean, they built these things to shoot at something. Wow. What kind of enemy takes that much firepower to stop? Hmm. Very good question, Sonic. Very, very good question. Yo, Tails, can you tell if there's anything special about the ruins with this symbol? I can't be sure without a proper analysis, but it doesn't seem remarkable. What is remarkable is the data retention after all these years. The corruption is negligible, and the maps are so accurate. Not to mention the way they can imprint the map data directly into the user's mind. It's hard enough explaining yourself to your peers, let alone some long-distance civilizations. Yeah, too bad they can't give us all the answers to the island's mysteries. You're right, though. Pretty amazing to have a civilization based on brain power. I love those home, those freaking brain beaming GPSs, huh? Sonic, do you think I can? Change? What do you mean, like, like a tire or the tornado's engine oil? No, I mean, when I was lost in cyberspace, I was confronted by another version of myself. He said I was just a follower, that I couldn't think or act on my own. I wanted to argue, but I couldn't bring myself to say anything back. I worry he's right and that I haven't changed at all. Whatever. Some spooky cyber copy hasn't seen you in action. I've seen it firsthand. You've definitely grown, and I know you'll keep on working hard. Kind of makes me wonder. That's why I should might might what we might, might be seeing in that in the uh, that uh, special story DLC, like where like each we're gonna see like each character's just, like all experience in cyberspace, and we're gonna see like a weird like copy of them always like telling them shit they just don't want to hear. Kind of, kind of makes you wonder, doesn't it? Huh. We're at a pretty high altitude. It's hard to say how high due to all the clouds. Any higher and we'd risk Angel Island bumping into us. Pretty harsh conditions for anyone to be living and working under. The ancients must have had a reason for coming up here. Given the infrastructure, I don't think this was a residential area. Seems more like military front lines. The first strike position, huh? 
I mean, those cannons aren't just for show. With everything we've seen, just what kind of enemy were they preparing for? Hmm. Well, I guess we'll find out. I'll have to wait and see to find out. <laughs> okay, so... Okay, I think that's... Hey, hang on, let's see. How many more do we have left? Okay, so... Two. Alright. I analyzed the cyberspace portal the last time you were accessing it. While you were online, it opened up a flood of data. It was way too much to process, but I did get a glimpse of the ancients' personal data. Oh, so... What, you know all their birthdays now? Much more than that. Sonic. It was their very essences, their hopes, their dreams, everything that made them what they were. Do you see the correlation? Sounds a lot like what happened to you, Amy, and Knuckles. I mean, I'm glad you're all intact, but why were you all uploaded like that? <laughs> I just love that line for Sonic. So, you know all their birthdays now, or... <laughs> it's just like... <laughs> Well, I guess we can give him a surprise gift from the afterlife, huh? So I think I've figured it out. The Coco are the spirits of the ancients, aren't they? What if they are? Huh. I've run into my fair share of spirits who stick around because of their regrets. Sometimes I've been able to help them move on. Just how long have they endured like this, though? Were we brought here to help them finally find peace? Why ask me? Because I feel like you might be in the same boat. And if so, I'll help if I can. Okay, so I think that I think that's all the uh the side shit. Actually, okay, so I think I don't think we get the uh the other the other trophy till like, we uh do this uh section here. Alright, so now that we got the side shit out of the way, let's just continue with the main plot, shall we? <laughs> At least I hope I got all the side shit anyway, if I, f if I fucking forgot one. Just want to the scan the map here, just to make sure I didn't. Nope, yeah, no, that's all of it. Okay, all right, all right, Tails. Wait, all right. So what should we do next? I've been studying this door while you were exploring the island. It sounded like it unlocked from the inside. Great. So, how do we open it? See that switch next to the door? I think it'll react to the cyber energy stored in your body. There's no telling what's on the other side, but I'm betting it's important. Approach it whenever you're ready. I'm always ready. Alright, well, time to do the puzzle but that lies beyond this door. And try and honestly, this is probably the worst of it. You'll see what it is in a second. <laughs> Yep. <sighs> We're playing pinball. Well, honestly, I, I really fucking hate the pinball table in this. Okay, so, for this... For this part of the game... For this... Clear the game of the ruins. It's a familiar looking ancient site. Clear the game to see what happens. So, yeah, like I said, we're playing pinball. So essentially we need to get about 5 million points in order to win this. So my strategy essentially is just to butt mess the fuck out of it and pray to God it doesn't fall down through the cracks. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's like keep keep collecting the rings and you'll uh, essentially create a score multiplier. Uh, another thing else to do is uh, see that red ring down there if I have one of the springs? Collect that, and it'll increase your multiplier right away, so you don't have to keep collecting the rings. So that's pretty much my strategy. Just go for the red rings when you see them, and just try to just keep spamming the fucking paddles like this. Butt mashing for the win, baby! Got 
god, I, I, I remember when I first played this game, this section took me fucking forever to do. It like, it's so fucking annoying. <laughs> It's like, I don't know that nothing in pinball minigames, but at the same time, it's like, I, I here's like, there's a reason why they've been mostly been put as a uh, friggin' shit to do when you don't feel like do, playing the main game. No, this shit is mandatory. You have to play the pinball minigames in order to progress with the plot. <laughs> That's honestly one of the more annoying parts of this, too. Where it's like, it's, this is required. Like, this isn't optional, this is required. I do it in real life whenever we're playing pinball, just fucking butt mash and paddle. Pray for the fucking best. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Now my fingers are getting sore. <laughs> Ring. Oh my god, my finger! Oh my god, this is uh, god, this is taking forever because I can't get the stupid red star ring that's behind this pat, the right paddle. There we go, finally got it. <laughs> Oi. God, now I can make it faster. Oh, Jesus. Oh my God. Come on, just get the ring. Get the fucking Red Star ring so I can be done with this stupid minigame. Now, now I'm almost done. Let's just get the last few points. Like so, you'll see the ball get charged up. Alright, so now that we got the points, now we just gotta get the ball to the freaking door here on the top. <laughs> oh my god. Can this thing just go? Go to the hole? There we go, finally. Oh, my fingers hurt. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, man, my, that hurt my legit, that hurts my fingers every time I do that. Ah. Oh. But no, that's just my strategy doing it. Normally it wouldn't take me that long, but dear God, that, that was just... Uh, eh. I hate the, I hate the pinball mini game in this. I hate it. I would have no problem with it if it was optional, but dear God, the fact that it's mandatory to get to the Titan is just ridiculous. Hey, who turned off my steam bath? <laughs> Whatever you did triggered an eruption, and the lava burned away the cloud bank and revealed... something... Hey, I've seen my fair share of pinball machines. I know one when I see one. Were those really part of the original ruins? I mean, the tech here outpaces Eggman's and is older than old. 
guess the love of pinball predates civilization. Sonic, that Titan down there, do you really plan on fighting that? Even as Super Sonic, that thing is... Keeping you, Amy and Knuckles, trapped? So yeah, I'm gonna take it down. Sit tight, partner. I'll take out this last Titan and get everyone back to normal. Alright, that's what Sonic said. Time to go down there and fight the Titan. Okay, I have all my rings. Everything's good. Woo! Alright, let's go. Let's go fight the Titan. And honestly, I think this is probably one of my favorite, the, one of my favorite Titans to fight. And the fucking music during the, sec the during the Super Sonic fight too is just amazing. You're rolling around like a dingus, aren't you, buddy? <laughs> I love roller skating. <laughs> You kind of looks like a desk chair, honestly. You look like one of those little wheelie chairs. <laughs> Alright, aim get Knight's head. Sonic must transform into Super Sonic to stand a chance against Knight. Jump over or parry the stone spikes that reaches the Knight's head and gain the upper hand. Alright, so essentially you just, just get up close to him and he'll start some of these spikes. Okay, okay, there we go. Ah! Oh. Wow. I really just died. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna pretend like that didn't happen. Alright. Okay, so what? Okay, so. Okay, when the Titan slams. When Knight slams his hand down like this, be ready to parry the spikes that come charging at you. And then, just like that. Jump on, just jump up on the arm. Easy way to get on top of them. Right now, just climb them like a freaking climb them like a tight, like a freaking uh, shot the Colossus. And chaos several time. Cue the music. Yes. <laughs> I, I, I love Find Your Flame, though. Find Your Flame is such an amazing track. <laughs> uh, so. I'm here to go beyond my limit, not to compromise. And you can tell me if I mean it, looking in my eyes. Because I've been waiting for my moment to strike. So come if you recognize the singer, uh, he's the same dude that sung uh, Infinite Steam in Sonic Forces. I do love that they actually brought him back for this. It, it's awesome. Dancing damage is supersonic. The transformed Sonic is invisible against attacks, but ranks will be consumed as the battle continues. Knight attacks with a long sword. Parry this and look for a chance to attack. Alright, like I said, it'll attack with a long sword. So, we'll wait for it wait for it to attack, like so. Maybe it's gonna attack, parry that shit, and then go for the shield. Okay, so what are you throws a shield at you? Grab it! So now we're gonna be driving a shield. This part is kind of a little wonky to get through, especially with uh, freaking, uh, the shit that comes flying at you. Ow. Like that. Ow. So essentially, dodge the missiles as much as you can anyway. And then come charging for his face. That's awesome. <laughs> I love that. Come here, you. I love how you just take the slam down too. I love this. Whoop! Bop! 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 And doink! And slam! I've 
never gonna stop believing You'll find your man right. Give me your shield Oh yeah, uh, when it gets to certain points like that, he'll just swipe you backwards. I think I don't know what to do about that. I think it's just like he swipes you back once and it'll uh come on. Give me, give me your face. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> no, he sounds like he sounds like fucking uh fuck. Oh, he sounds like the MCP from fucking Kingdom Hearts 2. <laughs> Alright, trying to slam me. Trying to slam me down, bitch. In the air, and then. Bop! Alright, time for it to be happy. Time for phase two. Just like every other Titan at this point, kill some of the lasers. But then you also do this. They'll ditch his shield. Okay, so for the left, this part of the fight, parry, parry the shield, and then send it flying at him. If I can even hit him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It took me a little bit to figure out to figure out how to do this. Uh, yeah, it doesn't. It really doesn't help when he just fucking dodges out of the way of the fucking shit. There we go. Got him. God, no, I also, I love this boss because of the finisher you do this dude too. It's so awesome. <laughs> Give me your sword, bitch! Oh, nice sword. Ah! Give me your sword! Fuck your sword! Time for a badass finisher. Man, I love that. Man, that was a. I fucking love the way you just take it out, too. It's like. Oh, that's awesome as hell, man. I fucking love that. It's just how you just sliced them in half. That's, oh, man, that's, that's like, that's candy for the eyes, and I cannot help but not love that. <laughs> uh, anyway.
Your final lock has been revealed. Silence the six towers. Tear down the walls between dimensions. Oh, good. I thought you were gonna say there was a surprise, Titan. Sonic? Hang tight, partner. We're almost through this. Be careful. Careful? Where's the fun in that? <laughs> well, shit, I didn't mean to trigger a starfall here. <laughs> well, uh... Shit, man, the fucking... Sonic is definitely not looking so good right now. But, um, so yeah, this is the second to last island. It's also a very short one, so the next episode will literally be all this. So, yeah, the next episode, guys, we're going to be uh, shutting down all these six towers, and hopefully fucking Sonic will get better, because this, really this is really starting to concern me here. <laughs> it's really starting to worry me. So, yeah, like, subscribe, want to see more? I'll see you guys next time.